the vision for this wig. I can already see it. Hey now, what's up friends? I'm really excited because my Tony wig is here. Now I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with Tony Daily 80 and if you're not, you really should be because she's by far one of my favorite YouTubers. She's one of those YouTubers who I've been watching for years and years and I simply don't understand why she doesn't have like 3 million subscribers. But in any case, Tony Daly recently launched her own wig. Um, we were seeing her hair look even more lush and beautiful uh, than normal in a lot of her vlogs over the past several months. And then she finally revealed that she actually was playing around with a wig that she designed. Now I'm not sure if she's actually making these wigs herself by hand or if she has some sort of situation where she's having them manufactured somewhere. But in any case, she revealed her big secret uh, maybe a month, month and a half ago and launched the Tony wig on her website, TonyDaily.com. Uh, the bad news for me was she only launched it in a color 1B and a 1, both of which are way too dark for my hair. My hair won't blend with anything darker than a 2. My hair color is somewhere between a 2 and a 4. It's like a 3 if there is such a thing. So I was really bummed out, but the good news was I would say three weeks later she had the Tony wig restocked because the first batch sold out. Congratulations, Tony. But she restocked the wig and she restocked it with the original colors, 1 and 1B, as well as 2, 4, and an ombre color, I believe. I actually clicked the link to place my order before I even watched her announcement video. Like, you know how in your feed you can see, um, like, the first line or two of the description box, like, underneath the title? Like, I could see the link and that the video was just like, the Tony wig is back, and I was just like, click, add to cart. And my wig actually came really fast. It shipped from Canada because Tony lives in Toronto and I am in Southern California. But just to give you an idea of the timeline, I ordered my Tony wig on October 2nd. She shipped it by October 4th or on October 4th. And then it arrived yesterday, which was October 11th. So that's pretty quick for international shipping. Now I will say that um, the cost of shipping is pretty exorbitant. I That's like the one thing that maybe like, oh! Shipping is the one thing where whenever I'm shopping online, it can be a deal maker or a deal breaker. Like if the shipping is more than like six or seven bucks, like, and even then sometimes like I'm like, you know what, never mind. Like I just have a chip on my shoulder about paying for shipping. And the shipping for the Tony wig is $19, which I was just like, Phew. I really wanted to support Tony. So the way I looked at it was this. The cost of the wig itself is 59 bucks. Um, which isn't exorbitant because we've seen her kind of run through the longevity of the wig and she's still rocking her original prototype Tony wig and it looks great. In fact, it looks better than ever. But then the shipping was 19, which like I said, was kind of like, uh, but then I thought about it that brought the total price to $78 and the way I rationalized it was, I think anyone who's interested in the Tony wig has probably also, uh, come across the finger comber wig. Uh, which you can get, I think, at fingercomber.com. But the price of the finger comber wig is 78 bucks plus shipping. So taking that into consideration, the Tony wig is actually a better value because it's $78 after shipping. And then Tony, from what I understand, gives you goodies as well. I have it here. I haven't even unboxed it yet, so I'm going to do that with you guys on camera. So it comes in a regular standard shipping box. Cross off my address just in case because this is YouTube. And yeah. So this is my first time opening, I just cut the tape to save time on camera. My packing slip here, the wig obviously, and then some uh, little uh, cushioning paper. Alright, so now let's get to the good stuff. I've got my box here like I already showed you, and here's my wig. Um, wig style Tony, color number two. And it's got special care and washing instructions here on a sticker on the front. It says, fill a basin with, loop long, with lukewarm water, add a dash of mild shampoo, immerse wig and swish gently, rinse thoroughly in cold running water, lay wig on towel or let it drip dry completely, do not brush or comb, no setting is necessary. So here's the wig, I'm going to just put that on my lap and quickly get into some of the goodies, the extras that Tony included. Um, this looks like it's a wig cap uh, with her business card inside got a pair of earrings with her logo. Hopefully you guys can see that. Actually, it might be easier if I just don't put my hand behind it. There you go. Use my wall to kind of see the shape there. Um, 
And I've purchased earrings from Tony's website several times, so I'm already a big fan of her earrings. And then I think this is one of her tube wraps in a plaid print, which is awesome because I'm kind of becoming obsessed with plaid for fall. This is awesome. I think uh, I can rock this, you know, with my own hair, maybe figure out a way to rock it with the wig. Oh, and there's more. Another pair of earrings, her Afro pick, which is sort of like a signature Tony Daly earring style. This is like one of the first earrings I ever remember, or earring designs I ever remember her having. So very cool. I like the extra treats that come with it. But the piece de resistance is, of course, the Tony wig. So let's see what we got here. I'm just going to take the hairnet off. And yeah, okay. So shaking it out here. This looks really cute. It sort of looks like a Bantu knot out on blow dried hair. That's what it sort of reminds me of. I'm going to take the paper out of the inside. Now, on the second run of wigs, she did start to include combs. I believe the first batch did not have combs, she said. Uh, and then people requested that she did include them because it's easier to take combs out than it is to have to sew them into the wig yourself. So that's what she did. And the cap is actually the pretty standard sort of wig cap that you normally get with that sort of like black lace on the inside and then the tracks down here. There's a little comb here in the front and then there's another one here in the back. There is a hang tag just like a beauty supply store wig. And of course it has adjustable straps with the hooks in the back that we have all seen before. Uh, cap feels like it's got a pretty decent amount of give to it. I feel like it'll still be a, a pretty snug fit. It doesn't feel super roomy, but I think if I have my hair flat twisted, I can't cornrow. If I cornrow, it looks like a special needs chimp did it. It's not going to happen. But I can kind of sort of flat twist my hair, so that's kind of my plan. I'll either do that or just piggyback plaits um, to get my hair flat enough to get under this wig because, yeah. So here it is on a wig head, just so you can get an idea of how it will fall and what the length is like. Let me make sure that I've got it kind of centered properly. So it's got a nice amount of length, which is good. I feel like it's actually a pretty believable match in terms of length to how my hair might look uh, in a Bantu knot out or a twist out. I'm excited for this. Uh, I think it looks pretty good for a color number two. I think it'll be a pretty decent match with my hair. And I cannot friggin' wait to wear this. So I just wanted to do the unboxing with you guys so you could see it. There's actually not a ton of videos up yet about the Tony wig. Maybe I'll just hold it here while I talk so you guys can keep seeing. <laughs> so there's not a ton of videos out yet on the Tony wig. I think I've seen two. Uh, one was an unboxing like this because the girl also had in a protective style that wouldn't let her try it on. I think she had crochet braids. And then another girl had the Tony wig and she did put it on, maybe not in her first video, but she definitely has done other ones since then where she actually gets to put it on and try it out. So I'll link those in the description box or wherever they're putting it these days. Wherever the description box is, check the links because uh, they're there. I love it already, even though I haven't even put it on my head, but I think the texture looks great. I'm just going to be fluffing it out and playing around with it and once I do that you guys will see it. I've only had these twists in for two weeks unfortunately so I can't bring myself to take them out just yet because of the amount of time that I put in putting these in my head but because I don't super love them I will be taking them out sooner than I normally would do with a set of extensions so I will go no more than two more weeks with these twists and then you'll be seeing this on my head a lot. So stay tuned for a rave, not a review, but a rave because I'm sure I'm going to love it. Um, go ahead and support a sister and check out Tony Daly's website and blog and vlog and everything because she's awesome. So if you're on the fence and you're kind of like choking on that shipping cost like me, I completely get it. But I wanted to support a sister. Hello. And specifically, I wanted to support Tony because I love her. And third of all, I just wanted that wig because it was cute. In terms of finding wigs that truly do mimic our hair in a texture that's not just sort of like a 3C, but actually like getting into the 4A through 4C range, 
you're not going to do better than a Tony wig or a finger comber wig, and this is ultimately cheaper than the finger comber wig. All right, guys, that's it for this video, but make sure you check out all the links in the description box. It'll have all the information for you if you haven't heard about the Tony wig somehow. All right, thanks for watching, and let me know your thoughts on the Tony wig, and if you think you want to get one. Peace. That's a, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm going to take that down. <laughs>